Hi, this is Merritt. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I am only organized in my planner, and today I have Happy Mail from Happy Planner. So um, let's do an unboxing and see what all I got in my Happy Planner box. So I have watched a bunch of flip throughs. I did a shop with me. Um, I think I'm going to move the box out of frame and then I will just pull things out. Um, Cause this box takes up a lot of my desk. So let's move it over, over here. Put scissors in the way. Okay, so the stickers are on top. So I guess we're gonna do stickers first. So um, I got the fun illustrations. So I'm just gonna do quick little, I'm not gonna do full flip throughs because there are flip throughs all over the internet of these, but fun illustrations. I got this because of the hot sauce. That was the number one reason. And then the second reason was for the peaches because I'm from Georgia. So a little Georgia peach spread might be in the works. Um, I, if you watched my shop with me, I did not have the rainbow on here. And then I watched somebody's flip through of it. Um, can't remember who, and I decided that I would get it. Um, so I like this blue color. It's not like traditional, like in your face colors. Um, like the, well, this is unclear, but the red in the old rainbow book, I feel like was a lot more in your face than this red. Um, and then I like this pink. These are unclear as well. But usually you don't see these box stickers like this unclear. Um, but so I've got the rainbow. All right, what else? This is Modern Months, so it's a little neutral, um, but I like, these to me are weird. Um, <laughs> they look odd to me, um, but I like, where did they go? I do like them on these, though, like on the washi strips. I like them there, and then what I loved about this book were these stickers with the dark background, these here. So I really like those. Um, so yeah, so this is the Modern Months. Right? And then love Sunshine Vibes, very summery. Lots of pinks and yellows, which always remind me of summer. Um, and then the rainbow, I feel like the rainbow colors will match this too. So I could use some of those rainbow uh, boxes and with stickers from this book. And I like that there's a good mix of floral, I mean, not floral, of decorative and um, box stickers in there. All right, there's more and more. Okay, um, Bright Travels. So these are fun. I love those washi strips. I love the big box stickers that look like postcards. I think those are so cute. Uh, the stamps are fantastic. And there's two pages of those. Um, they're both on clear. So this is a very cute traveling although it I, I really like the roller skate girls but I can't figure out why their heads are too small for their bodies it just sort of weirds me out how small their heads are so there's that then I got seasonal whimsy so I always love a good seasonal book but those apples are so fun um, I'm not into apples as like tea tree decoration um, but I do like them as fall decoration. So 
Anyway, I really like this. The, and that pretty? I love that blue. It's like a periwinkle blue, sort of like a cross between a purpley and a blue. Um, these Christmas ornaments are gorgeous. So I have to make sure I remember at Christmas time that I have these. Okay, this one is the big, I think I also got this in the club. I did, okay, so I got the seasonal in the big and I also got it in, nope, that's not it, this is the mom. This one I got in the big and the classic. So I'm gonna put that over. All right, this is the fresh bouquet, which is the mom. But most of these, I don't feel like, are too, like, mom-ish. Like, you don't have to be a mom and have kids at home. Uh, my kids are all grown and out of the house. But I still think that these are very pretty. So, like, this sticker here. Um, I'm just going to cut the motherhood off and leave it at that. So, I mean, I am still a mother. My kids are grown. But, you know, I feel like that's more for moms of younger kids. Uh, keep going. Okay, here's the seasonal whimsy in the classic size. So, similar stickers, just a little smaller, but I love seasonal stickers, and I knew that I would use them in both the big and, um, and in the classic, so I got both. I just, I love those. All right, then... This is Spread Some Happy. I like how bright and colorful this release has been. So I just think that it's lots of fun. This is a mi I don't, I don't know that I meant to get the mini. Whoops. Did it come in a classic size? I'm not sure, I'll have to check on that. I'm not sure that I meant to get the mini in that. I'll have to check my order. All right, and then this is the Softly Modern that has um, some some very pretty, like, I love these colors, and they're, they're very soft and florally. They, um, I feel like this is not a color scheme we usually see from the Happy Planner, so I really like that it feels original and it feels new. Because some of these stickers... I feel like are re-releases. Some of them are, which one is it? Like, okay, so this one is new, the Nordic. Like, that's very new and different. The colors are maybe not, but the theme and the prints are very different from the Happy, for the Happy Planner. But then there are some like this one, the Homesteader, that I feel like the florals are similar to what we've seen before, but the colors are different. So, I, okay, this, I love this page. Isn't this page great where it looks like it has the washi that's holding it down, but it's not, it's all one sticker. I do love that and I love the plates. So, anyway, I think that's really, really pretty. I also got the Homesteader in the, what, I don't even know, this isn't a mega, what is it called? Um, it's not super big. I don't, I forget what these are called. My mind's gone blank. Um, these are always helpful when you need to make a quick spread and you only have to put like three stickers on your spread and it feels done especially if you're in a classic size planner using this um if you're in a big if you're in a big size you might put four stickers on and call it a day and your spread is done all right then i got the um happy brights which okay those are classic some of those boxes looked kind of small so yeah so those are just fun old school happy planner vibes with the disc stickers uh, and the functional shopping appointment of uh, forever busy write it down like those are those are old school but then these I feel like are you know more new newer and more modern feeling all right then oh 
the May de Bloom. This is the also where I feel like we've seen these florals before, but just in different colors. So I really like I really like these. Um, it feels like a, a little refresh of something that we have seen before. Okay, all right. So those are all of the stickers. So then I got this big filler paper. I'm not gonna pull it out yet. It does have gold foil on it that I don't think I realized that it was gold foil when I saw it online, but it says their priorities here, plan on it, and it's got your times. And then it has these. So these are more of a, like a daily page, and I'm gonna use these uh, with my work planner. Right, and then the two planners that I got, so this, let's see, oh, before I do that, I also got the black note sheets, so to do blackout spreads with gel pens, so I really liked that paper, and I had not bought any of that before, so I bought that. All right, then, my catch-all planner is going to be... I need to check that one. I don't see a receipt. Oh, I don't see a receipt. There's one more sticker book hiding. I got the big, mega, it's not mega, what is it called? Um, of the Happy Brights as well for fun. Okay. Um, all right. I can move this box out of the way. And. I'm just gonna cut there. All right. So this is the Bright Travels. It is a big 18 month. So it's got that it's a vertical layout. It's got Tanya, Tanya Garcia here, who is the artist who did these. And, okay, see, so that's what I was trying to figure. I love this cover. I, I don't know that I love the 23, 24 right here. I might use this as my cover because I really like that. Um, all right, and then you've probably seen these before. This is vacation vibes here. The currently page is different and I like it fine. I don't always use the currently page in my planners, so that's fine as it is. Very neutral. The inside's very neutral. Everything looks like this. It still says note here. Oh, just, just leave that and just have lines there would be fine. Um, but it is better than a little round thing. All right, there's August. It looks like Morocco with the tagine. And then travel the world. Give me good company in the open road. November is just bright design. December are those cute stamps. Let's see. January is, it says, take me away. Desert scene. Take time. Again, head is so small for her body, but take time to enjoy the simple things in life. And then we've got a pagoda set out for new adventure. Be kind. And this is a pink. Can you tell it's pink uh, foil, which is really pretty in person. May says, it's your journey and your heart knows the way. June says, the good life with the pina colada or fruity drink. Pack your bags. Looks like Fiji or a tropical island. And then this is that same design that's on the inside cover. September. 
looks like maybe Greece. October says the world is too big to stay in one place. Agreed. We have the animals that are a little, oh, these two faces are a little awkward. And then December says work harder, play harder with the girls with the tiny heads and the big bodies. So, but I really, I really like this. I really like this cover. Um, so I may switch it out. So we'll see. So this is going to be my, this is going to be my catch-all planner. And then this, I'm definitely going to change out the cover. In fact, I may buy a teacher planner. Let's see if I can get this open. I may buy a teacher planner to Frankenplan with this, um, with the inside, but I just wanted to make sure that I had a big neutral dashboard. And I feel like in the last release, there was not a big neutral dashboard. Um, and so I was afraid to wait to see if in the teacher release, there was a big neutral dashboard. So I went ahead and got this one. Um, it says now is the time. I like the cover better in person than I did online. And when I saw the flip throughs, but very likely I may just use this black or even more likely I'll probably buy a teacher planner in the fall release and use the, um, what are the, the dividers, um, and the cover of the teacher planner. So, all right. So this July is the roses. It's very neutral. Oh, look, it doesn't have, interesting, it doesn't have the notes with the lines over here. Like, it's just all dot grid or graph. It's not even dot grid, it's graph all the way down. Um, I really like that. That's very nice. Um, and then, big neutral dashboard looks exactly this is exactly what i want for a work planner um and the the teacher planners don't usually start until august and we start back school in july so um really kind of need one that starts in july because my first day of school i'm an instructional coach so i go back on july 10th and then teacher planning starts the 24th and classes students start July 28th, which is crazy early. Um, so I, I did need the July one. But see, that's how I can justify spending money on two planners. Okay, so this one says love with this floral theme. This is wildflowers that says wild, beautiful, and free. Whatever you do, do your very best. I actually really like this one. And then this is just wildflowers with no words. What appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning with roses, which is a good quote for the end of the year in December. Live for the moments you can't put into words. Bloom into you. It's not that this is not a pretty a pretty planner. It really is. It's just at work I like something brighter. And I work at an elementary school, so it's not like it has to be super neutral and uber professional because elementary school teachers, right? Like we have things bright and fun. All right, April. And then there's May with the looks like a fern. And then June with the roses. July says Wonder Seeker. August with a little paint. September, if it terrifies you, do it anyway. Maybe it depends. Fill your heart with goodness. Yes, definitely. November is Tell Your Story. 
and December is live, love, and inspire others. So, I think these, this is my, we'll see how I end up using this one. Um, this one I will use as is. I will put it on expander discs as I'm using it, even though I really like these. Um, these are clear with gold specks. Um, I may move that over to this planner instead of having plain old gold. I might lighten that one up a little bit. All right, so lots of stickers. There's the black paper and then the daily pages. Um, yeah, lots of stickers. I bought too much. I do need to find out. I didn't know that I intended. I'll, I'll use the mini. It doesn't matter. I like it, but I was thinking this might not have come in a classic size. I'm going to have to look at that up. All right, so let me know what your favorite item from the release is, was. What is, what is your favorite item from the Happy Planner sp Spring release? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. Um, I am not a Happy Planner affiliate, so if you are interested in buying Happy Planner, um, go find your favorite affiliate and use their links. Um, I know that they will appreciate it very much. It's no cost to you, but it does help them out. Um, so I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you find somewhere to be organized other than just your planner. If you need to get organized in your planner, Happy Planner has, has all the goods. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.